Hey, welcome back to another Sunday School. We're so glad to be back with you. Now, we, and the, the big news is that Graham and Nancy are back. Yay! We're so glad to have Graham and Nancy back. We also appreciate Morgan and Charlotte, everyone else that helped work really hard to make Sunday School while they were away. Now, this Sunday, Sunday, and the going for the next 11 Sundays, we're going to be exploring the Old Testament stories. Do you know how many books there are in the Old Testament? Do you think there's 20? Do you think there's 30? Do you think there's 40? There's actually 39 books in the Old Testament. That's a lot of books, isn't it? And now our series will begin in the first book, Genesis, and end in Malachi. We're calling our series The Old Testament Odyssey. Hope you enjoy. Now today's story is based on the story of creation found in Genesis. Now before we head into Sunday School, we also just want to lift up our prayers for those that have been impacted by these fires right now. There's a lot of people in our state that have had to leave their homes, many that have lost their homes, and even some that have lost their lives. We also we pray for them and their families. We also want to pray for our firefighters, mm -hmm. those that are, when others are mm -hmm. fleeing the fires, our firefighters are running in to fight those fires. We pray for their safety and courage. Did you know that Morgan's, Morgan's younger brother is one of those firefighters? We keep him and all the rest in our prayers. Well, with that, we're going to head on into Sunday school. But know that we love you. And if there's anything that we can do for you, let us know. We're going to have a story today from a book that we read back in January of 2019. I don't know if any of you remember it. This uh, is based on Genesis, the first book of the Bible in the Old Testament, uh, except it's a more positive story about the uh, creation story. It's called The Blessing Seed. And I'll just read a little bit about it. When God makes the world, the first man and woman are amazed by the mountains and valleys the sea and the stars, and the wonderful animals and plants with whom they share their home. But what is their task in life? To find out they decide to eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge, although God has advised them not to do so before it is ripe. As soon as they taste the fruit, their world changes. For the first time, the man and woman are afraid. When God sees what the man and woman have done, he gently explains that it is time for them to explore four paths. These are the path of wonder, the path of emptiness, the path of making, and the path of coming home. With his guidance, the man and woman begin to understand their place in the world, and they set out to explore it with the song of the blessing seed in their hearts. So now we present the blessing seed by Caitlin Matthews, and illustrated by Allison Dexter. In the beginning, God sang everything alive. God sang the sky, the land, and the seas. God sang the plants and trees. God sang the moon, the sun, and the stars. God sang animals to live in the sea in the sky and on the earth. Then God, mother and father of all, sang of man and woman. God said to them, This earth is your garden. 
The rocks, plants, trees, and animals are your family. Go and explore your home. The man and the woman thanked God. They greeted every stone, plant, tree, and animal. They learned what each living thing could do. The man and the woman found a tall tree in the middle of the garden. It had four paths leading away from it. What is this for? They asked God. God said, That is the tree of life. On it grows the fruit of knowledge, but it isn't ripe yet, so you mustn't eat it. Mustn't eat it. The four paths are ways to explore this world. When the fruit is ripe, you will be able to walk them all. The man and the woman sat together and watched the stars grow bright in the sky. Then the woman said to God, Everyone in the garden has their special gift. The squirrel can jump. The snake can crawl. The bird can fly. What is our special gift? And God answered, In all the world, you and the man are most like me. You have a special duty. You will care for everything on earth. Your special gift is to learn and to care. How will we do that? asked the man. Listen for the song that I sang at the beginning, said God. My song is in everything and it will help you to learn and to care. The woman listened to the song of the tree of life. It sang a song of laughter, a song of tears, a song of beginning, and a song of coming home. She said, Maybe I will understand our special gift if I eat the fruit. She picked the fruit and tasted it. It was sweet and bitter, soft and sharp. As she swallowed it, things began to change. She felt like a cloud looking down on the land far below. The birds, trees, and animals, and rocks felt far away. She shared the fruit with the man. When he tasted it, he felt different and frightened. Why do the animals run away from us? He cried. God came that evening and said, You are frightened and upset. Have you eaten the fruit of the tree of life? The man said, We did, and now the animals hide from us. We don't understand what is different. The woman said, We ate because we wanted to discover our special gift. God smiled and said, I made mountains to last forever. I made flowers and trees for beauty. I made birds, fish, and animals for their many gifts. But I made human beings for their longing to know. It is time for you to explore the four paths. Come. And God led them to the tree of life and showed them the paths. The four paths are called the path of wonder, the path of emptiness, the path of making, and the path of coming home. These four paths of life will help you to learn and to care. On the path of wonder, you will remember when you were sung from the earth. When you see the moon and stars at night or the sun sparkling on the water. When you hear birds singing in the trees. When you hear the song of creation, then the gift of caring will be born to you. On the path of emptiness, you will, you will remember when you ate the fruit and felt different. When things go wrong, when no one understands you, when you lose the things you love, when you feel sad, lonely, or frightened, then the gift of learning will be born to you. On the path of making, you will remember the song that is inside you. When you have good ideas when you make something beautiful. When you tell stories and sing my song, then the gifts of learning and caring will start to grow. 
on the path of coming home, you will remember that you are part of everything. When you look after the earth, when you defend the helpless, when you speak for those who have no voice, when you enjoy and respect my creation, then you will be most like me. Your learning and caring will shine out everywhere. You will be separate no more. Must we leave our home and all we love? cried the man and the woman. All places are your home. Everything I have made is your family, said God. Must we leave you? cried the man and the woman. I will always be with you on your journey, God promised. Will, will we re really find the gift of learning and caring? asked the man and the woman. God said, yes. You ate the fruit of the tree of life before it was ripe, but the seeds of learning and caring will grow inside you. And God blessed them both, saying, I will ripen your gift as you walk the paths of light. Your gift will be a blessing seed. It will leap from your hearts into the hearts of others. Go now and spread my blessing throughout the earth. The man and the woman thanked God. They walked out into the wide world, taking their blessing seed in their hearts. Greetings, friends. Today's story, The Blessing Seed, takes place in a garden, so I thought I'd show you the garden that we have had this summer. So here we have a sunflower plant, and this plant is from a volunteer seed. Uh, years ago, I planted sunflowers, and it has reseeded itself, and the birds just love the sunflower seeds. And then down here, we have pumpkins. These also came from volunteer pumpkins after the season. I let the pumpkins rot in this bed and they go to seed and produce new vines and so I have a variety of sizes and shapes as you can see in the pumpkin patch. And then over here we have lots of cherry tomatoes. Again these came from volunteer plants. It's like a forest of tomato plants here. So we've been eating a lot of cherry tomatoes from our garden. So I hope you've had fun. Maybe you've had a garden this year. And if you have and you'd like to share photos of your garden, please send them to Eric and we'll put them in next week's video. So today we're going to have communion in the garden. On that night that Jesus gathered with his disciples in the upper room, he took the bread and he broke it and he blessed it. And he said, take, eat, this is my body, broken for you. And he took the cup, poured the juice, and said, this is the blood of the new covenant poured out for many. Do this in remembrance of me. Beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, in love God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, God made their glowing colors and made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, in love God made them all. The purple-headed mountain, the rivers running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, in love God made them all. 
The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, God made them every one. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, in love God made them all. Well, friends, there's just so much to celebrate in God's creation, and I hope you've had lots of opportunities to get outside and enjoy all these wonderful things in God's creation. Have a good week. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.